Hi kids! Do you like waiting for things? No, it can get really boring having to wait for things, can't it? Especially if it's something we really want. But kids, there are some things that are worth waiting for, even if it takes a very long time. Like have you ever baked a cake or some cookies with your mommy or daddy? Did it take a short time or a long time? Yeah, cooking food can take a really long time and usually we don't want to wait to eat the food. We are hungry and we want to eat it right now. But if we try to eat the food before it is finished cooking, it won't taste as good and might even make us sick. Let us take a look at this video of some cookies baking in the oven. Wow, you know that video was actually sped up, but even then, it felt like a long wait until the cookies were finished, didn't it? Kids, do you think if I go cross and shout or complain at the cookies while they are in the oven, they'll cook faster? No, of course not. It doesn't matter how upset you get, sometimes things in life just take time. So you have to learn to be patient while you wait for them. But that can be hard sometimes, can't it? Joseph had to wait a really long time too in our story today, didn't he? He was in prison for 13 years. That's much longer than you've been alive. Joseph hadn't done anything wrong. So he could have been very angry and complained a whole lot. But instead he chose to be patient and trust that God will take care of him. God had given Joseph a special gift of knowing what other people's dreams meant. And God used the time that Joseph was in prison to teach him how to use that gift to help other people. Like the baker and the cup bearer. Joseph was going to need that gift later on to help someone else who was also having weird dreams. Kids, sometimes God will make you wait for things to happen in your life and it might make you be tough to be patient and trust him. But we can always ask God to help us wait and show us if there is anything he wants us to teach us while we are waiting. See you soon, kids. Bye.